going on guys and welcome back to the channel today today it is going to be the start of a brand new series called until dawn I don't know why I'm pointing because you guys guys can't actually see me pointing uh, yeah this was going to be part of the Halloween month uh, however I did not get around to doing it so this game is actually because I'm in the last week of Halloween games i was supposed to do halloween games pretty much every week i've only done one so far because i'm really bad at um timing and stuff like that and last week i was a whole situation happened uh yeah and i wasn't able to do it um but yeah this game is going to go past halloween month um and uh yeah it's gonna go until i finish it which god knows when that will be um this is not my first time recording this uh, little cl uh this bit here, um, I uh, I actually tried to record it and it came up with saying uh, an error had occurred, so it stopped the recording uh, and actually lost everything. So which was pretty annoying, but hopefully this time it works. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't break anything. Um, yeah. Just before I actually do get into the vid uh, proper bits, because obviously this is just cutscene, just telling you your decisions matter, they affect the story and stuff like that, and it, who lives and who dies. Um, on that note, uh, if you are very young, I would not recommend watching this, um, just because uh, it does get a bit gruesome <clears throat> at points. Um, yeah, so I would not really recommend watching it if you are young yeah I probably might I probably might have to blur some stuff and censor some stuff but you know <clears throat> uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna have to stay quiet for this bit or I'm gonna I'm able to speak that guy's got a machete This is already a creepy house. He does not look like he's got hey, good intentions. Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. <clears throat> am I controlling? What am I doing here? I am controlling. These two are passed out drunk? Whoa. Nice one fire. Okay, not this way. Um, 
Not this way either. I'm gonna assume we're going down this way, maybe? I don't know. That is, I don't think there's actually. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I think the glowing door might. Yeah, I think that might keep it away where I'm supposed to be going. No, I am still in control. It looked like the character was just wandering for a second there without me actually doing anything. Um, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. I wish there was a sprint button. That would be nice. I really am locked in here. I don't know whether it was like telling me. Oh, stop it! Okay. Something glowing over here. There's a note or a piece of paper. This is. What am I doing? I am using... Oh, there we go. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Okay. Alright, let's go and try this door. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to probably have to blare a bit of stuff here. Yep. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah? Well then. Maybe I have to blow some? I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna eat. Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! I think Hannah What's dies. Going on? <laughs> just judging. Going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! Oh, wow, this is, uh... Well, this is, uh, great, isn't it? It's... <clears throat> Fast. This person sees someone outside, doesn't know who they are, and she's running off on her own, no weapon. Creepy vibes from this. That is a pretty poor torch, I think. <laughs> my, I don't know why my immediate reaction there was to look up. It's like, ooh, look at this flashlight, I'm just shining up in the sky.
Pretty scary. Yay, there is a sprint button. Really doesn't feel like a sprint button. Hello? <laughs> Just feels... Hello? I don't know where rooms. What is that? Oh. Oh, I don't know what I just clicked there. Wait, is it okay? No, I am going there. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? Fire. Oh, there's someone. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah? Uh. Maybe it's just a random animal. Oh, she lost the phone. Let's just put it this way. One of these two are going to end up dead. Look at that bronze is poking out, wasn't it? Hold on! Hold on! Well, they're both dead. I guess I just killed both of them? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the... Is this like a TV show or is this an actual... I want you to actual... remember this. I want you to remember Bye. this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around. Oh, I think he's talking to me as the player. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. I think this is just a tutorial. Can you please pick up a card. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong button. That's Quite creepy, to be honest. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. 
A little bit uneasy, to be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? She's a gra random scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Random scarecrow. It's quite I creepy. Never really been a fan of those things in real life, to be honest with you. Never really liked scarecrows. I didn't hear the question. Um, I'm going to just say no. I think. It... Oh no! Why not? I didn't hear your question. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps. I don't really think I want to hear that word anymore. Isolation. I've heard uh, that word way too many times over the last two years. What is this? <laughs> this is like a therapy session here. Oh, we're actually in the city. I thought we were back in that creepy house. You're creepier than that picture, and I'm going to just say that right away. I don't know whether we actually got into the game. Wait, anyway, did I end the story by just killing us both? <laughs> Do we have to start again or something? I hope not. To be honest with you, in, oh. In any circumstance, in any situation that that was going to put me in, Hannah was going to die no matter what there. It's got a nice song. I'll give, I'll give it that. That's a bit creepy. It's a creepy baby. I don't actually know how long this game is to us. I just don't know how long it's going to take me to do it. I mean, I'm not going to do this like my Minecraft series. I'm not going to upload it every week. I mean... Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project. Wait, so they actually never found the bodies? I guess they kind of wandered off, didn't they? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. That's still for creepy. A I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I'm still confused. Did I they find the bodies or did they just never find um, the bodies? It means It means so much to me that we're doing this and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth <coughs> that we're, we're all still here together. I feel like he's the killer. I really want to spend I, I generally time I, well that cre not the killer, sorry, that creepy man. Just share some moments that that was we'll never forget. 
above. Because he he, st he he doesn't seem too phased by it no. at all. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes. Okay then. That's a uh, that's a bit of a weird word way a bit of a weird way of wording it. Still in the cutscenes. <clears throat> what was that breathing fire thing? I, I don't know whether that was him or was that like the person or was that something else? I really do want to know like whether if I dropped, and I know it sounds quite dark, but if I dropped Hannah, would I still survive? Or would that guy just chuck me down anyway? So one thing also I like about this story kind of game is that you're not playing as one character, you can just play as multiple characters and you can decide their fate. Quite like that. Chap I'm assuming that means chapter one. I'm assuming. There's the creepy guy again. Still holding that machete. Okay. A little bit of description on uh, Sam here. Yeah, I know how you move the camera. There's a way to turn that t tutorial thing off. Oh, alright. Oh well. This is so creepy. Oh, what? The gate's busted. <sighs> Climb over. Marvellous. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Just kick it. Kick it. Never mind. <laughs> kick it. Kick it open. I need to stop repeating myself. I've just said that twice now. Or me. Um, I, I prefer safe more than quick. I gotta remember I gotta do that. Jump. This is gonna kill her, isn't it? Oh Jesus. No one quick. This is fun. This game is actually really cool. I like. I don't know whether I said this at the start, but I've. Oh. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, hey. Um. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but uh, anyway, um. I can't remember what I was gonna say. I was saying I was I was gonna say something. I got no idea what I was gonna say. I keep clicking the wrong button. So I don't know whether Sam's the main character in this story, or I don't know whether there is a main character in this story.
Oh god. It's another piece of this. Okay. Um. Well, the last time I picked up a totem, two people died. Guidance totem. Uh, press R1 anytime for Okay. <clears throat> That is an invasion of privacy. <clears throat> that is an invasion of privacy and we will not be picking up the phone. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective humorous. Okay. Oh, so found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. He's weird. <laughs> no offense. That's a wall. Ta-da. Pretty rad, right? Beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like <clears throat> Grizzly Adams or something. I'm trying. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. You never know what you'll find in some places. Please tell me I'm not going to be shooting. Um, use the right stick to aim, press R2 to shoot. Did I miss? Nope. <clears throat> oh, those were. Smashing. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No! I am not shooting that squirrel. No, I will not! <laughs> nice shot. I will not right. shoot a squirrel. Exactly. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I was not ever going to shoot a squirrel. That would be so mean. It's so evil that that is an option. I hope it misses. Like, I hope he misses the squirrel. Oh, I keep... Oh, I don't mean to click that. That's a wall. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Just a bit. Just a tad creepy. There's some skis there. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. 
Yes, we do. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bottom mountain. <laughs> it's not rich at all. Just buying a mountain. Creepy security cameras that look like they're very old and don't want to work. Am I supposed to be doing something here? I don't know. I was already at the door. I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. I was already at the door. Even though apparently I'm not at the door now. Okay, I seem to have teleported back. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something. I think that's pretty sick in the head, to be honest with you. That the like the anniversary of his sister's death, celebrating. That's a bit. Everyone else feels the same way. Bit weird. Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. But seem to like to talk about a butterfly effect. Jesus. I miss this kind of stuff. Like I'm a I'm a person that oh hello, Jesus Christ, Jess. Um Confident, trusting Let's see, uh, anyway, um yeah, this is my kind of kind of thing. I prefer, I love skiing and stuff like that, and so I love this snow. Oh, right. okay. So there is no main character. You're just playing as different people. To answer my question from ages ago. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? Let us out, pretty please. No. <laughs> I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, That's a bit dark. a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. And what anyway, before uh, we continue with this, I am going to end the first part here because if uh, literally it looks like this game, there is pretty much no point where it's an easy point to stop. So I'm basically going to stop it here. Uh, I know it's probably a random point, and uh, yeah, I'm going to continue the episode. I don't know when I'm going to do this. Uh, Maybe for the Halloween month I might do it daily. Not too sure. Uh, but yeah, this is until dawn. There's probably going to be some bleeps, probably maybe a bit of censoring as well. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. 
See you guys.